Here are the news headlines from around the world. Almost a year ago, started actually 15th of March 2020, this corona pandemic actions started in Finland then and now it has been almost one year we have lived with it. What happened was actually a huge quantum leap what we have done and how we have done it. Most of the training sessions we have made distance learning and most of the consultancy we have done with distance. We haven't traveled a lot and actually we have been able to cope with that. The situation at the moment in the world there has been over 100 million infection and more than 2.2 million who has died this coronavirus and in Europe there are 6.6 .6 million people infected and 0. 2 million died. In Finland we have suffered, yes, but our figures are not so bad. We have at the moment 45,000 infection and 671 dead. Well, we have done well, I could say. And now there is a light in the end of tunnel. We have vaccination. Of course, there are three vaccines. One in Pfizer, BioNTech, one in Moderna, and one AstraZeneca. And what is problem at the moment is that we cannot get as much vaccines what we have ordered. So question is how on earth big medicine companies can be so wrong with estimation. I don't believe it. I mean, somebody has offered them money enough. That's why. They are so clumsy at the moment. And I think we have to live one year more. Until the end of this year, we will be more or less on the light. So I think it takes all the nurses and stuff like that. And elderly people are vaccinated by the summer. And normal people are vaccinated in the left of the year. So. I think the situation is much better in the end of this year, so life can go back to normal. But however, I don't believe that life will be like it used to be before this. I think we have learned something and we have learned how big savings we are able to do when we do distance consultancy or distance training. So there will be light in the end of tunnel. In America, all of us remember a few weeks ago, there was a president election in America and Joe Biden won and Mr. Donald Trump didn't like it. So he refused to step aside and because Donald Trump has been very popular, almost 70 million votes. So when there was demonstration, Mr. Trump said to the people that let's go to the Congress and they went. Now it is up to Congress to confront this egregious assault on our democracy. And after this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down. We're going to walk down anyone you want. But I think right here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol. A little traffic jam at the, at the Congress. So anyway, now the change has been made and Joe Biden has spent his time cancelling many decisions made by Mr. Trump. And uh, Mr. Joe Biden, the prognosis is that he is not sitting in two periods because he's so old. He is 78 years old at the moment and uh, there is a chance that he would jump out before his four years. His vice president is Kamala Harris. By the way, Kamala means horrible in Finnish. Anyway, in many ways, in this Kamala Harris is first woman in vice president position and she is first Afro-American person in that position. 
Well, anyway, the whole world has taken a deep breath about it. And then we talk about Russia. In Russia, latest news has been that Alex Navalny has returned to Russia, even though he has got Novichok vaccine, Novichok, which is nerve poison, and he was almost killed. But now, last week, he returned to Russia, and he was arrested immediately when he arrived to Moscow. So question is, how long they are going to keep him in custody? Anyway, he is a man with a courage, but is he a man with stupidity? Because everybody knows, knew that he would be arrested and Mr. Putin doesn't like men like him. Anyway, there are points when you should understand there has been demonstrations, but no effect at all. And when we are talking about Europe, Europe is hard words, but no, not so much action. In Europe is slow and very ineffective. In Europe, they haven't got the vaccine. One third of Israel people has vaccinated already. 7% of British people has vaccinated already. 5% of European people has vaccinated. It takes time before this, this pandemic is over. When we, ta we, we are talking about Finland, Finland has recovered very well from pandemic. Last year, 2020, it has measured by GDP minus 3%. And uh, this year, the estimation would be something like 3% plus. And uh, next year, 2022, the estimation is that it would be something like 2% plus. Many industries have suffered a lot, for example, tourism industry, especially in Lapland, and uh, show business and uh, air industry. We have many pandemic well, but we have well health in advance and uh, business comes after. The question is, would it be better to be another way? But we will see how it goes. And in our business, there has been competition, consultancy and training, and also on international, international side, like Business Finland. We have passed all the competitors, competitions, so our company is accepted in all what we have offered. We have new information about our competitors, and uh, life is very silent in that sense. Let's see what this year will come or bring. So what's the news concerning the company for 2020? So here's Seppo to speak about the results. Like I said, it was 13th of March when it happened, closed down in Finland. We didn't know what will come and for example, I asked loan for 500,000 euros and Danske Bank accepted it and I offered guarantee from Winvera and they accepted it. In autumn, I think it was in September, I said to them that we don't need it. So we had YT negotiations, cooperations, negotiations and our office people and partly marketing people were part-timer most of the year. Situation is not clear yet, but we might need another YT negotiations in the spring 2021. Before this situation is clear, we had possibility to distance work non most of the time. So, like I said, quantum leap happened and it, it will change a lot. However, when we talk about consultant or consultancy, our mission statement is still the same. Our company's purpose is to help our clients to be more successful in their businesses, to provide market research, management training and consultancy services. And still, our vision is same. 2025, companies 
purpose is to grow. We will continue to expand in the SME sector. We remain one of the main players in the field in Finland. We are an international company. We operate in EU, in rest of Europe and in Russia. Our turnover will be approximately 10 million euros and there are approximately 100 people working in the company. Our business culture, our concept is Ruta which means simplicity, practicality and valuing concrete over the theoretical. So that's what we are and what we like to do. And because this is a private company, it has to be profitable because otherwise we cannot live long enough. However, if we look at the fiscal year 2020, our turnover was 2.2 million euros. Previous year, 2019, it was 2.4 million euros. So the turnover went down a little bit more than 200,000 euros. And the expenses were 2 million 5,000 euros and operating profit were 209,000 euros and profit loss is something like 229,000 euros which is more or less 50% better than earlier year. And if we look at a little bit closer, general management turnover was 1.3 million euros. It was in 1919 1.5 million euros. So it came down 221,000 euros. Lake Stream were 283,000 euros, and it was a year ago, it was 339,000 euros. So it went down also. And international side went up 542,000 euros in year 2020. And previous year it was 387,000 euros, so it went up 40%, which is quite good actually. So we went down 200,000 euros, which is more or less 9%. However, our profit was higher than a year ago. Salary and other expenses, what we did when we made our office and marketing part-timer, it was something like 100,000 euros. Training expenses went down 109,000 euros and training facilities expenses 130,000 euros. So totally almost 340,000 euros. Feedback from training in the spring, it was the 4.5 and 4.4. And it, it was like, if we look at it from consultant wise, it means that most of the people were quite good actually. And in the autumn, most of the training and consultancy has made distant work with computer. And it in the autumn, it has been 4.8 and 4.5 and as we realize that feedback has been quite good and we don't have on overseas side any feedback unfortunately we it will come next time and if we look at people's satisfaction rate it is on average 3.8 and so 70 percent of people the satisfaction rate is good or excellent so it is quite good actually and if we look at it the satisfaction rate by departments the international services is 4.3 and marketing 4 and Lextreme Department 3.7, General Management 3.5 and Administration 3.6. So it is like normal, I would say. And when we think about what is our SWOT, what is it? So strength, what we have are excellent consultants and why non financially healthy company and it is profitable company could do many kind of things so we have quite good strength 
However, we have some weaknesses and one weakness is that we have old management and old, we are old fashioned company and we are too small, we are vulnerable. And somehow the opportunities, possibility to grow when this is over. Distance, learn, training and consultancy, that is, that gives us possibility of grow. And international grow, more countries, more people, domestic grow, training and consultancy. And threats, Seppo is too old, that is the threat. And old people get retired. Key people, departure, that are the threats. And if we look at the balance scorecard, we are more or less on the line. We do have something to develop. However, this Corona year has went well. Thank you very much. Thank you.